Hey y'all, let's look at some rate word pro... Oh man, I'm sorry, such language. It slipped through. Shouldn't be that word at all. Problem. Puzzles. Problems. Eh. Puzzles. Yeah. Two negative signs. So anyway. <clears throat> okay. Well, let me... We're going to do these rate word pr puzzles. Puzzles. In, in a slightly different way. But it's I'm doing it in old-fashioned way because you guys know this a little better. But let's go and write this uh, little ratio two ways. 20 apples cost $10. So go ahead and pause it and write that in the two fraction ways we talked about a couple of times ago. Okay, if you say 20 apples cost $10, you can reduce that and say I got you get two apples for $1, right? Or you could say it costs you $1 for two apples, right? That's how it's that's reduced. Either one of those is fine. Now what they're going to ask you are questions um, like this. How many apples can you buy for $8? All right. How many apples can you buy for $8? This is just a continuation of, the, of this 20 apple $10 thing. Okay. So if you remember, let's reduce this. We had two apples for $1 or we had $1, you know, it was for two apples. Either one of those is fine. Okay, I don't know if you remember this. A couple of it was about a week or so ago, we did those problems where we turn, you know, convert um, 50 miles into inches. Remember those? Or convert 2,000 tons into pounds or whatever it was. What you tell me, what is the first step you do when somebody says convert 10 miles into inches? <clears throat> What's the first thing you write? 10 miles, right? And then you go from there. You go, okay, convert 10 miles to inches. Okay, I'm going to write 10 miles. When I convert that to inches, the first thing I do is, oh, I write miles on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then one mile is 5,280 feet. And then, oh, I cancel the miles. And then, oh, feet, I have to write another one with feet at the bottom. So one foot is 12 inches. And oh, feet. And I got it. There you go. But the first step is you have to write what you are given. Correct? Okay. It is exactly the same on these rate word, you know. Okay. So, in other words, these are your two ratios that you have got. They ask you, how many apples can you buy for $8? So, what you need to do is, when somebody says to you, um, convert five miles into feet, you write five miles. That's what I'm given. Same thing here. If they say, how many apples can you buy for $8? You write, what am I given? $8. You absolutely just write $8 like that. And you can treat this exactly the same as these conversion problems because that's what they are. Not problems, puzzles. Sorry. Bite my tongue, bite my tongue. Okay. Treat them the same way. Now I have a question for you. You have two choices that you can multiply by now. For $8, which one of these should we multiply? Which one of those ratios should we multiply so things work out nicely? Because what you want as an answer is apples. So what's going to have to cancel out to give you apples as an answer. Dollars, right? So the dollars are on top of this one. You are going to have to use this one in this case to do that. Okay? I look, look, I think we all know what the answer is. You go, oh, and this is so easy. I don't know how to do this. It's possible, but this is a way that will do it when it gets a little more interesting in the future. Okay? So $8 over 1. Multiply that by 2 apples for one over one dollar. Okay, look what happens. Bloop. Out of there. Eight times two across is 16 apples. That is your answer. Of course, I'm sure you probably already knew that. You know, if it's 20 apples for $10, you can buy 16 apples. It's two dollars, I mean, two uh, apples per dollar. Then you can give eight dollars, you buy 16 apples. Yeah, okay. But do practice this method just to get the method down. I mean, in the future, if you forget this and forget that, you can always just go, okay, what am I given? 63, you know, whatevers. I multiply that by this and I get that. Oh, that's right. Old, what's his name? Old Cliff, Clifford Scottson. What was that guy's name? Some old guy. Anyway, you know, okay. All right, let's try another one. How much would it cost to buy 14 apples? Okay, 14 apples. Now, in the last one, it said $8. That's what we were given. On this one, you're given, oh, 14 apples. And you're asking, how much would it cost? I'm asking for dollars, but I'm given 14 apples. Okay, 
That's what I'm given. Okay. Well, now you tell me which one of these ratios here would we want to use? This one, right? Because this one has the apples on the bottom. So this will be one dollar over two apples, right? So now apples cross out and we have 14 times one up top divided by two. That's going to be seven dollars. And again, I'm sure we all knew, oh, to buy 14 apples, that's oh, half that, oh, two, no. But sometimes it'll get more interesting and it won't be that really obvious to you to do. Okay, let's try another one. 20 apples cost five dollars. How many apples can we buy for eighty dollars? Okay, let's think about it. 20 apples cost five dollars. Let's just do it. So that means they're a quarter a piece, right? How many apples can we buy for $80? That's a lot of apples, okay? So let's just do this. Let's just draw the two ratios as, as fractions, right? 20 apples, $5. That means, you know, 20 divided by five is four. Four apples for $1 or $1 for four apples, okay? They say, how many apples can we buy for $80? That means we are given $80, $80, right? So we're going to multiply by which one of those fractions? The first one, right? Because four apples is on top and then $1 is on bottom, so the dollars will cancel out, right? So 80 times four <clears throat> is the same thing as eight times four with a zero. And then look, we have apples as our unit. That's exactly what we want. How many apples? 320 apples. Okay. There's another part to this. <clears throat> Same thing. What's the cost of 40 apples? So again, we had four apples for $1 or $1 for four apples. What's the cost of 40 apples? What are you given? 40 apples. Okay. Which one are we going to multiply by now and why? Okay, yeah, I mean, you're going to multiply by the second one because you have four apples and then the apples will cancel like this. You have 40 times one is 40, divided by four is 10. You have $10. There you go, $10. Okay, that makes sense. Just remember how the old way we used to do that stuff, like, um, you know, convert, you know, 20. Uh, you know, ounces into so and so. Well, then you just write 20 ounces, then you go from there. Make a fraction, you know, cancel, boom. If somebody says to you, 20 apples, blah, 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 what's the cost of 40? You just don't even think. Just write 40 apples. Then write a dot to multiply, new fraction. You better have apples on the bottom for your new fraction. That's all there is to it. Okay. All right. On page 119, let's take a look at those and uh, try those. Okay. Go ahead and try a. Okay, chestnuts cost 40 cents for two ounces. So in other words, this is going to be 20 cents for one ounce. I'll just do it. Or you could, of course, say one ounce for 20 cents. Okay, 20 cents per ounce. All right, that's the first one. Pause it and try B. Okay, well, you have to figure out, okay, for a dollar twenty, that means you're, that's a hundred twenty cents. All right, I'll just put cents, all right? You're going to multiply by one of these. Okay, well, let's look. It looks like you're going to have to multiply by this one, right? So you get one ounce for twenty cents, right? So these cancel. So the only thing you have left is the ounces, and that's what they're asking on B. How many ounces can Joan buy for a dollar twenty? Well, one hundred twenty divided by twenty is six. The only only unit we have left is OZ ounces. There we go. That's the answer. Okay. Pause it and try C now. Okay. They're asking C. What would be the cost of fifty ounces? You know immediately what you should write down without even thinking, right? Just write fifty ounces. There you go. Multiply by which one? This one, right? Because one ounce, bam, right there. 20 cents. Ounces go away. 50 times 20 is a thousand cents. That's the same thing as $10. Boom, there we go. What would be the cost? That's what we're answering. Okay. Okay. Do a great job on your problem set today. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys.